Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for a long time I've seen little uh, pictures pop up on the Vito pages and stuff of people who have done specifically with this bag and some of the larger bags lighting for these bags. And everybody always just, you know, it's, it's always just a picture and whatnot. And I thought, you know what? Maybe that's what YouTube's missing. Maybe we ought to do this because I've been wanting to do this. And yes, it's a pure, I don't know, it's just for the fun of doing it. And yes, it may be helpful from time to time if you're in a dark environment or something. If you're in a basement working on a furnace, something like that, it's going to be wonderful for locating tools. But otherwise, this is kind of a fun little project. And I have not done this yet, so you're going to get to see this happen in real time and you can see exactly how annoying it can potentially be. I have no idea yet. So what I've done is gone online on Amazon, and I will link these things down below. How long they'll be available from these weird sellers, you have no idea. But I got an LED light strip, and uh, link will be down there. This is a cool white 5 volts. 200 cm whatever all that means you can see that that's what it's labeled and uh, I got this one because a lot of them have big bulky adapters and remotes and everything else with them And a lot of people buy the ones that you have to put double a batteries in and I wanted to take this up one more little notch We've all seen these little power brick things that you get to charge your phone and whatnot if you're away from power Well, I went online and looked for the smallest one I could potentially find and this is a this is a 5,000 milliamp hour USB output of five volts, which is what this asks for at 2.1 amps. And I'll put that link down there too. It's a power add something another, pure chinesium, I'm sure. But comes all packaged up, nice little deal. And I got this one because I wanted a round one that would fit in a tool holder really nice. You know, it looks kind of like a little flashlight. Has a micro USB charger and a full USB-A output, and then an on-off button on the side. And that on-off button will be our button for this. And this is not pre-tested, so we may run into some fun there. I did connect this strip to this one to make sure that it actually was a functioning strip before I waste my time on a dead thing. But this is really reasonable. It came with, I purposely did this as reasonably as I could find. Comes with a little short charging cable. So you can charge your little dilly, do hickey up, and be good to go. So this is my Tech MCT. This is one of my most used bags, so things are not going to be perfectly organized here. Like <laughs> y'all enjoyed teasing me about my new look of tools in here. Yes, they're new. We set this bag up, this new TPXL, last week, two weeks ago, month, whatever. And uh, yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, it still looks sharp. I've been using it for a month. But anyway... Here's the Tech MCT. This one's been going for a while. Uh, oh, what, a couple years probably on this bag? Um, but I, I just love this bag. It's set up so well. But you know, since I love it so much, let's stick some lights in it. Now, these are supposed to be cuttable, so that should be able to be cut, cuttable, whatever we want to call it. So it has kind of a lot more of a lead in than I would have liked on this USB. I'd say there's a good two feet, which is a little annoying, but. You know, I think this actually came with a little wire tie. Maybe throw a zip tie on this, zip tie it all together with this before you stab it down in here. But what I'm going to do is just take one of my screwdriver slots. Who needs this many screwdrivers anyway? Anyway, it fits perfectly in this spot. And we'll go ahead and pull a couple tools out of the way. See where I slid that? Right in this big screwdriver slot right on the back row of this tech mct it is almost like it's made to go there so we're going to start with that and we'll go ahead and see how we plug so we'll be able to plug in right there awesome now the back of this stuff has a 3m adhesive tape on it i don't know if you can see that or not i don't think it's going to hide my face enough to show you but it's a peel off and stick but i just don't see that holding long term so i have my fasten master glue gun over here ready to go and an extra stick of glue because it's almost out but first of all i want to figure out exactly how much of this i need because it's impossible to find a super short piece of this stuff i checked with the manufacturer here or the seller at least 
And they said between each LED, there's these stripes. See the little gold stripes? Supposedly you can cut through those and it's totally fine. It'll continue to operate. So that's what we're going to do. We don't need all this lighting in this little bag. But I do want a decent amount. So we're going to start routing this. And what I want to do is flip it upside down. I want to find out my length first and go ahead and get this cut so that I know how much I want to use. And I want to run it down nice and deep so I get some good lighting down in here. We're going to run up over our top, over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and go through. Right here on the Vito Tech Pack, right behind where you keep your little thermostat drivers, there is a slot or a, a spot where you can actually feed this through. So we'll see if we can straighten this out. These are remarkably soft. It's like a silicone feel to it. We're going to push this through. Get here on the back side if we can. We're going to push this through over here. So, so far, no bag modifications. And I'm going for not modifying my bag. I really don't want to cut anything. So I may have a little less light on this one side, but I'm going to pull it down as low as it'll allow, which is apparently right in there. That seems really nice. But you know, now that I'm looking at this, I kind of want to pull that back for a second. And there's a spot right up here that I'd really like to push it through. Right here in the top of the bag, there is a channel going across. And I'm going to run through there just for some extra security. Because you know we're a little worried anyway about getting stuff, getting a tool hung in this or whatever and, and tearing it up. So we're going to just get it fed through there like that now. Now we're going into the other side of the bag, which is my electrical tool side, insulated stuff. Pull this up. I want to be sure I got plenty of light on this side. Yes, that will block a little bit of my lighting, but I think it'll be worth it in order to have it nicely up at the top. And I don't want to do a lot of hot glue in here, but I already know this little 3M strip is going to be a joke. So, if you actually use your bag to work out of, it's going to be an issue there. Okay, so here's the opposite side, and this is my electrical side. We're coming through right here. You can see it comes through from the other side. We're going to turn that tape. Run it up here, and it looks like we have the same nice little spot where we could do that. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. So if this is going to go right across here, I'm going to want it to go right on down to the bottom. Get as much lighting in this bag as possible. I'm going to say right in here. Where's my nice little scissors? My scissors. And let's hope that the manufacturer is being honest. Because we just cut it. Woohoo. So we got about, oh, a couple feet of that we didn't use. Two and a half feet, something. Okay. Now we should be able to a lot more easily feed this through this little deal here at the top. Which apparently I've never used for anything. Do y'all use this little piece up here at the top of your veto bag? Your Tech MCT for anything? If you do, let me know. Because maybe I just put something here that will make me mad in the future. Let's really hope not. Ah, there it is. Too bad. This one, for some reason, was a lot looser than... or a lot tighter than the other side. Okay. Nice and around there. And I'm going to just tuck that right in there behind my tools. Now, I want to start from the beginning so I get this situated right where I'm going to want it. And I'm going to start taking off this 3M padding or tape cover adhesive cover stuff and it says 300 LSE I don't know what that all means but anyway we're going to tuck this right back in here yes I could have unloaded this bag in advance no I like to do things the hard way if at all possible and what I want to do is take the glue gun and go ahead and anchor down 
my bottom most point. And I've got the Fasten Master here with the flooring hot glue. So pretty much no when that happens. Once that dries, that's extremely secure. That's what you're using for your carpet tack strips, your transitions and whatnot in a home. The stuff is really good. Cool it down just a little. I'm going to move on to the next section here, see if I can get this adhesive tape to come off. Yes, I'm trying to show you all I can, but this is an awkward position here. Okay, now that's all off. I'm going to get that out from up in there as much as possible. Peel this off back. Ooh, yeah. Nice. I think this is going to be cool, but that's just me. I'll let you decide. <laughs> Always kind of wanted to do this, but I wanted it to be... Looks like I've got it fit pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and get right down in there and stick a little tack right on it right there. And that can dry here in just a moment. And should secure that very well. If I can get this end solid. Kind of want to go ahead and do the same there. Now, doing this with a regular glue gun, I'm not sure how well it would work. But obviously, I don't think it'll hold like this flooring adhesive will. You know, this stuff, stuff's pretty dang nice. And I'm only putting a dot here and there. I'm doing one dot on each side, where it, right where it reaches the very top. So hopefully, holds itself right there. And I'm going to take my little screwdriver here. Make sure I've got it embedded right in that glue. Boy, I love it so far. I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. Hopefully this is a cool project. I don't usually do a lot of projecty stuff on here. I usually just show what I've already done. So, a little new for me. See if I can get right there. I gotta get this tape paper stuff coming off. Now this may be something you want to look into when you're doing yours. If you do yours, if anyone does, um, make sure that this paper stuff is not really going to ruin your day because it's a little annoying to get it out up in the very corners of this. It really is. Boy, I may not even need another stick of glue. It's not going to take much for these little dots to hold, I don't think. And <laughs> get all the hairs, the glue hairs out. When they start curing in the air, they're kind of interesting. So far, it's been pretty clean. I'll try to show you guys this a little better if I can. Let's see. You see the light strip now that runs up around the back and down? Yeah, buddy. And it's just ran down all the way to the bottom on this side, and I glued right down in there. So just use a good clear glue. Oh, yeah, that's already getting nice and solid. We can probably go ahead and test her out here in a second. But our idea is we have our wiring here, and I kind of want to push the end of this down. There's a lot of room, you know, under the front of the pack, so you can squeeze stuff. And a lot of us are guilty of there just being a lot of screws and who knows what all down in there. But with what I do for a living, I need a lot of random things. So I'm guilty of buying these little packs at Lowe's of like machine screws. And these are electrician screws here, I believe. Yeah. So I'm just going to push that all down in there to where I want it. And then I'm going to seat that right on top. Now my wire's nice and solid sticking up, my USB. And we're going to... Take this, and you notice here too, I have the button on that little deal pointed forward. So, I should be able to turn this on. And there it is. How about that? Okay, and here is the electrical tool side. And that's just a quick little project you can do. Uh, looks like, what, how long did that take us here? About 15 minutes or so? Not bad at all. And throw your 
little charging cable for that right in the right in the slot with it and that way when you need to charge it you can just charge it it's also just you can get one of these that'll charge with anything this one charges with USB-C this one with USB micro so whatever you commonly have on your truck for charging your phones or whatever little electronics you use that's what I'd use I just make it simple make it fun all right shall we turn off the lights and check this out I kind of want to see it in the dark let's do it okay guys here's a little dark shot of it there's a bag all closed up check that out you can see all your tools it's awesome this may be more awesome than I expected look at that no double-a batteries nothing you have to keep buying you just recharge your stuff and you're good and literally a $12 brick you might be able to get them cheaper than that that is a cool upgrade for anybody's veto bag hopefully check that out isn't that cool so hopefully you guys got something out of this video if you did hit that like button down below don't forget to subscribe for more veto vera nipex everything we talk about tools on this channel all the time we have a lot of fun doing it and we love having you here watching appreciate every one of you see you on the next one